Today, you will learn how to install a General Air 1000A humidifier. For your safety, all General Air product installations should be performed only by a qualified contractor. Before beginning any installation or maintenance on an indoor air quality product, be sure to shut off the power and water. Within the box is a standard template, installation manual, code valve, GFX3 humidistat, and the humidifier. Required tools include quarter-inch copper line or vinyl tubing, at least 10 feet of PVC three-quarter pipe, a selection of three-quarter fittings, mostly elbows, 18-4 control wire, PVC primer and cement for drain line, a black magic marker, a selection of wire nuts, a selection of sheet metal screws, a drill with a quarter-inch bit extension, measuring tape, a screwdriver, wire cutters with strippers, a pair of tin snips, adjustable crescent wrench, copper line cutters, plastic PVC cutters, The installation process begins with cutting out the necessary holes in the ductwork for the humidifier and humidistat. First, tear off the template and tape it to the plenum, ensuring it is level. With the 1000 model, the template must be on the supply, as it does not work on the return. Using the marking pen, draw an outline around the template. Remove the template and, using the tin snips, cut the sheet metal along the outline. Next. Find a location above the humidifier on the return for the GFX3 humidistat. Using the marking pen, trace the open holes on the mounting plate. Be sure to cut two openings, one for the sensor and one for humidistat wiring. Cut the two holes with the tin snips. Returning to the humidifier, unplug the electrical Molex plug near the solenoid. Then lift the cover out from the bottom tab and up. Be careful when lifting the cover off the humidifier as the motor and fan are housed within. Set the cover aside. The vapor pad assembly is now exposed. Remove the vapor pad assembly by pulling the top tab of the assembly forward and out. Next, place the chassis onto your humidifier cutout on the duct so that the deeper tabs are affixed at the bottom. To secure the humidifier, slide the chassis onto the upper tabs first, then lower it onto the bottom tabs. It is now locked in place. Use sheet metal screws to secure the base to the ductwork, utilizing the holes in the base. Return the vapor pad assembly and cover. Slide the drain tube of the vapor pad housing into the drain of the chassis. Push the vapor pad into the chassis frame, making sure the pad assembly is secured by clicking the assembly into the top of the frame. Reconnect the Molex plug. Wiring the General Air 1000 series humidifier. The 1000 humidifier requires 120 volts to power the unit. For best results, plug the 1000 directly into the furnace electrical outlet that is controlled by the main furnace switch. Note that electrical upgrades like a larger box, a plug, or a switch plug combination may be required for proper installation. For low voltage electrical wiring, use a selection of 18 gauge wire four strands, about 15 to 20 feet each. Run the wire from the humidifier to the humidistat and back down the furnace. If installing the General Layer 1000M humidifier with manual control, please refer to the How to Install the MHX3C Manual Humidistat video. The General Layer 1000 humidifier provides its own 24 volts through an onboard transformer. Providing an external 24 volt source will cause damage to the humidifier. The humidifier has two sets of low voltage lines, a yellow and a red. The yellow represents the humidistat switch. The red, power to the General Air GFX3 digital humidistat. The red wires connect to two of the 18-4 strands. If not using a humidistat that requires constant 24 volts, cap off the wires separately with wire nuts. Connect the remaining two 18-4 wires to the yellow wires. Connect the 18-4 wires from the humidifier to the furnace. Use the installation manual to select the proper wiring diagram. The GFX3 can be installed as an automatic or manual controller. When installing with the included outdoor sensor, run the 18-2 wire to an external location. 
affix the mounting plate on the furnace using included sheet metal screws. Connect the wires to the humidistat by inserting the wire into the terminal strip. Connect an external 24 volt source to the ACL and ACN contacts. The GFX3 needs 24 volts only to operate. Connect the humidifier dehumidifier wires to the HUM1 and HUM2 contacts. The HUM1 and HUM2 are dry contacts and should not have any power source connected to them. Connect the outdoor sensor provided with the GFX3 to the sensor 1 and sensor 2 contacts. The outdoor sensor is needed to operate the GFX3 in auto mode. The outdoor sensor reads both indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity and automatically adjusts the setting to provide optimal humidity at all times. Refer to the installation manual for set point direction and mounting locations. The GFX3 can also be used in manual mode by simply not installing the outdoor sensor. To finish humidistat installation, Place the humidistat in its mount by pushing the wires through the hole. Next, connect the water supply. The 1000A includes a code valve that needs to be soldered into the water source. Once the valve is installed, run the water supply line from the saddle valve to the humidifier, securing the line along the way. Hook the water supply line into the humidifier with the provided compression nut and compression sleeve. Remember to use the copper sleeve on copper pipe and the plastic sleeve on plastic tubing. Install the drain tube. Installing the drain tube. If using 5 8 tubing, connect the tubing to the drain nipple under the humidifier and run the line to the designated floor drain. If using 3 quarter PVC rigid pipe, cut the pipe as needed utilizing the PVC fittings to run the drain line down to the floor. The 1000 model is now installed. To test the humidifier, Power up the furnace and set the thermostat to a high heat level. Then, power up the humidistat. If properly installed, there will be a clicking sound from the humidistat, after which the fan will engage. Water will then begin to flow from the supply, over the vapor pad, the drain, and into the drain line. Operating the humidistat. The GFX3 has three different settings. The droplet changes from automatic to manual to off. The temperature button displays the temperature and switches the display between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The up and down arrows adjust humidity set points. The automatic mode offers settings 1 through 10, 10 being the highest humidity level and 1 the lowest. Set the level based on the home's age and tightness. For instance, newer homes tend to be constructed with less air infiltration, therefore the humidity setting should be lower on the scale. The opposite is true for older homes where drafts are more common. Then, let the outdoor sensor work with the GFX3 to optimize the humidity level. Consult the GFX3 installation manual for more details. To use the humidistat in manual mode, turn the set point up or down. The humidifier will turn on and off as the humidity is required. The installation is complete. Thank you for watching the General Air 1000A humidifier installation video. Check out other General Air product videos at generalfilters.com or on YouTube by searching General Air Inc.